Liz Nichols, are there any trends in the arts that you don't particularly care for right now? Well, I think <laughs> I think the um, the self fulfilling prophecy of the short attention span is really has really come to drive me crazy. I hear all the time uh, from people in the arts. Well, if you can't if you can't make your point, if you can't create your theatrical reality uh, in ninety minutes with no intermission, then you you need to edit. Well, that is. That's just total crap. Uh, the idea somehow that the full-bodied evening's entertainment with an intermission is something to be avoided at all costs because it's not contemporary. Um, for one thing, it's created, uh, the one-act play has created um, or validated uh, a generation of playwrights who can't, uh, who can't really uh, fashion scenes over any duration mm -hmm. and some things require duration and of course there's one word Shakespeare um, uh, and I I just think that play, works of art take their own time I've always admired the Edmonton Fringe for holding out against the national uh, North American trend to limit fringe shows to an hour by edict mm. lots of people argue f for it and I would argue against it all down the line, mm -hmm. even if it's even if it's not something that you want to see at midnight, two hours and fifteen minutes with an intermission. The opportunity should still be there, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where is this idea coming from that well, it's play just should be shorter? Sure, numbers. The ninety-minute one act has proliferated in entertainment to the point where it's rare to. I mean, the other point, of course, is practical that uh, lots of theater companies and festivals are floated on the take from the booze at intermission, but I leave mm -hmm. that aside for <laughs> more artistic matters. But um, the, the idea somehow that shorter is better and that duration is a bad thing, mm -hmm. I think I would want to argue against as a trend.